Hi, my name is Umar Qureshi and I need to say one thing today that even Krish needs to kiss. So a superhero needs a superheroine and no one's more super than Priyanka Chopra. Welcome Priyanka. Thank you Umar, yeah. it's great to be back. Yeah, always good to have uh, you on the show. The world wanting to know everything about you. We have paparazzi chasing you there. That's very scary, huh? Priyanka, 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 Priyanka! They hide and all in bushes and jump out at you. I thought somebody was coming to arrest me or aliens were coming to take me away. I don't know what all I thought. <laughs> You're an intimidating presence. Really? Men get intimidated easily and women... I'm always exotic. Exotic is my middle name. <laughs> aliens when they come, asteroids when they fall, they always fall in America. Why don't they fall in <laughs> India? Do you think any hack of the Britic which is annoying? It becomes too positive sometimes. It becomes very like, everything is fine. Are it's not fine. <laughs> Are it's not time. My brother's getting mad. Thank no, he's not getting mad. He's just going to be a cover. Don't do a wedding with him. Okay. Please, he's my little brother. Oh. Let him be little. <laughs> no, my dad and me sat for hours at night, talked about things, rubbish things, happy things. We didn't need anybody else when we had each other. Awesome. So it's hard for me. So there are going to be two of you, right, in, the, in this movie? There is a duality to my character, yes. Yeah. I play uh, Priya from mm -hmm. the last film. In Krish, we left it at Krish bringing me home mm -hmm. to meet uh, Rekha ma'am, who is his grandmother. Mm -hmm. This film, we start off married. Mm. Um, and how, like every wife, I turn evil. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just you joking. You said it. <laughs> Because you would think it. That's yeah, why I said I would. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but no, I, my yeah. character turns into an evil ca mm. shade. And that for me was very interesting. When mm. Rakesh sir called me and he said, you know, we're making a film. Yeah. I'm very excited to narrate your role. I said, Ki, I'm playing Priya. I'm a journalist. What more can happen? Yeah. He introduced it saying that you will mm. be playing two characters. It's, it's a shade. And you know, in a superhero film, I was very excited to have such an interesting part. But what's so exotic about the Priyanka and Krish 3? What's so exotic? Exotic. Sorry. Right, exotic being the... I'm always exotic. Whether yeah. it's Krish 3 or exotic or anything else. Exotic yeah. is my middle name. Yeah, exotic is you. I mean, and, and that's in a complimentary way. Thank you. Uh, exotic is being complimentary. Yeah. I think uh, when um, hmm. Red One was making this song, that was his idea. He said, I want one word which describes you. And that's how he came up with exotic. And I thought it's pretty cool. Because you're an, uh, a daunting woman. You're an intimidating presence. Really? Yes, How am I intimidating? When you're that attractive and popular and successful, okay, you intimidate and men get intimidated easily and women... Well, I think I, then I guess I'll have to find somebody who is better than me. That'll be That's hard. Thing. <laughs> That'll be hard. That'll be next to impossible. <laughs> Last time you worked together with Hrithik, you guys with Agnipat, you really hit the jackpot. Movie did phenomenally well. I'm going to repeat it. See, for me, Rithik and I, I think, are a very, um, I guess, we have a 100% track record so far, whether it was Krish, whether it was Agnipat, and mm -hmm. hopefully with Krish 3 also. But um, I feel like I've worked my entire career with, mm -hmm. with uh, Rithik. Because when I joined the movies, I did Krish in like one or two years. And that lasted two and a half years. Then I did, because it took that long to make the film. <laughs> oh, yeah. Then I did Agnipat, which lasted two years again, because it was such a big film. Then I've done Krish 3, which has lasted 3 years. So my out of my 10 years, at least 8 I've worked <laughs> with only Rithik. So he's my most consistent yeah. co-star. Consistent, yeah. <laughs> Rakesh Roshan is a thinker. I'm, I think he's, he's a, a visionary. Yeah, yeah. He's a man who has pioneered sci-fi in mainstream Indian Agreed. cinema. Space, which could not, nobody did anything in that space mm. because mm. they were so afraid it'll never happen. Yeah. And he pioneered it. And this is a franchise which has lasted 13 years. Yes. I mean, Koi Mil Gaya was 2001 or 2. Hmm. I wasn't even in, a, in the movies that time. Hmm. You know, so it's such a large franchise. No franchise has ever lasted Never that much. Lasted, yeah. So it's phenomenal, the excitement for the film. And children love Krish. And anyway, the way I see it, everything that happens, aliens when they come, asteroids when they fall, they always fall in America. Why don't they fall in <laughs> India? <laughs> don't say that. No, I mean, it's fallen, na, when Jadu came yeah. to India na, eventually. Yeah, yeah. So it was our first alien, very yeah. exciting. Yeah. And this time also, we need our own superhero to save us. Na? Our own superhero, our own mutants. Exactly, we need all that, it's right? so cool. Yeah, <laughs> the VFX were done at Red Chili's and I think Shahrukh went to watch the movie and uh, Rithik was telling me this story. He's saying the team didn't let him see the effects. He's saying, no, we're not going to show it to anybody. We're not even going to show it to Rithik. 
you know yeah but rithik also didn't get to see it till till like much later yeah, yeah. because i think they wanted to get it to a level mm. where they could show it to everybody yeah. and now Have when you, you see it yeah yeah i've yeah. seen the film and um, and i've seen i mean the first copy is not out but i've seen a lot of the shots that they've done mm. and i'm yeah. i'm very proud of being a part of this film you were blown away by that yeah i would definitely yeah. say so you know the thing with indian yeah. vfx also is na people don't give us a chance Hmm. they feel ke acha bahar se karwa lete hain hmm. unko to aadat hai the good thing is rakesh sir is he has given indian artists that chance those vfx boys and girls who sit there and make those things they've got that opportunity and they've killed it you're taking over the airwaves uh, you now doing a item song for ram leela also you yeah. know like what's happening priyanka where's the what are you having and what do you have for breakfast <laughs> <laughs> i just i i like to surprise myself and people hmm. Mm-hmm. I get bored doing the same thing. I'm a big Sanjay Leela Bansali fan. So and I always have been. So mm-hmm. when he asked me to do the song, I was anyway doing Mary Come with mm-hmm. him. So he brought it up one day and said I want you to do it. And mm-hmm. this was before I even signed Mary Come. That time it was just a conversation. Mm-hmm. He said would you be open to it? And I said yeah, I mean I would love I would love to work with you on a song with his vision. It was very exciting for me. Right. And then finally, you know, I think the song's turned out really in- it's a modern mujra. Okay. So if you see Kahe Chhed and you turn it into contemporary mm-hmm. from Devdas, mm-hmm. this is that kind of song. It's a very sexy, sensual, modern, but yet it's an Indian mudra. So I think that is a space that has never been tapped in movies for a very long time. So it's very new, and I've done a very difficult sort of dance form. He pushed me a lot, and for me that was very exciting. I've, I've, it's been a while since I've been pushed. as an actor um, no no don't say that no it, it your is. movies take 3 years your songs take months <laughs> yeah but from discussion uh, to execution yeah but um very few directors push mm. actors mm. really yeah. sometimes when you reach a level of ki, okay this person is yeah. a good actor yeah. whatever you do is good are very good very yeah. good but like anurag basu in barfi pushed me he pushed me to fantastic get that out and like that um i think bansali in this mr bansali in this song the kind of dancing i have done it's yeah. it takes control body contouring i was in so much pain oh, after the song <laughs> <laughs> and i didn't even have time to rehearse for it yeah. so i used to shoot in the day and rehearse at night yeah. so i would sleep only for 3 4 hours and it was physically very exhausting it lasted for about 8 9 days mm. my schedule was so packed mm. that i couldn't do it but um i think the song turned out really nice it turned out nice How do you deal with disappointments? Like, for example, a Zanjeer didn't do as well as he expected. So, how do you take that in your stride in your busy, busy? Time? I don't have time to sit down and say I'm upset because yeah. my next film is ready or Amazing. my next step is ready. I always work on multiple things at the same time. I've never ever done one thing at a time. Of course, it breaks your heart. Yeah. Of course, I felt bad. I always do. Each one of my films are very important to me. but every film has its own destiny like you said a lot of stuff happening with you your journey to, from mumbai to la i think you go there like you said more often than you go to anybody goes to lonavla <laughs> yeah you know seriously and you there in la in new york you all over the all over the place where is priyanka she is in new york where is priyanka she is in la how how's that journey that journey been apart from the word tiring <laughs> no it's not been tiring i sleep on the plane <laughs> <laughs> but um see why i it's it's so much is mm. also because i'm balancing two careers mm. in the last two years where i've kept going to la and i'm making my album i have finished eight films released about three finished 40 songs for my album god bless and i've done all of it together i have not sat and said acha bollywood ruk jao main ja rahi hu yeah. goodbye tata for me my film career is just as important as my music career yeah. there is no um putting one aside for the other Hmm. So that is why it has been um so much happening so many things yeah. but that's the only way I want to do it I don't want to compromise on either or. my dad was not just my Good dad but right he was next to god yeah but he was also my best friend yeah. you know my dad and me sat for hours at night talked about things rubbish things happy things we didn't need anybody else when we had each other awesome so it's hard As if you didn't have enough of um, 
Bollywood fans wanting to know everything about Priyanka and being and the paparazzi being intrusive or you have Hollywood and you have all of America and all of the world wanting to know everything about you you have paparazzi chasing you there kabhi kabhi ho jata hai it's very scary ha i i mean our guys are damn nice comparatively it's very scary but they hide in all in bushes and jump out at you Hmm. So for me, the first time that happened, I thought I thought somebody was coming to arrest me or aliens were coming to take me away. I don't know what all I thought. <laughs> when the first time they came out with their flashes, when hmm. I didn't know. So you know, our guys are relatively calmer. Okay? Yeah. You know, we know when they are around. Yeah, one shot, one shot. Yeah, they are very sweet, lah. Hmm. <laughs> These yeah. guys just come. They also yeah. say, "Pyaar ka, pyaar ka." Yeah. But still, you know, it's. it's daunting yeah yeah um and i wasn't prepared for it actually yeah. because see i i i'm very new in mm. the west yeah i'm a newcomer as a musician mm. in the west um it's just one year since my first single came out it took one year for rihanna to hit the charts yeah but rihanna was rihanna yeah <laughs> i'm a new musician no rihanna you was start, a musician you're since... starting off with artists like pitbull and your yeah and priyanka chopra you know goes to the nfl and the whole of north america and south america and the caribbean watch her you yeah. realize how big that is the nfl national football league i know i mean yeah it's it's great and two years you in a row yeah for the song to be the theme song yeah. in fact even exotic was um, the soccer championships yeah. um theme song i did uh, the coin toss mm. in miami for um, yeah. in yeah. between everton and real madrid i remember and there were 80000 people and my video was playing and that and was just in the screaming the, um, in the stadium in what were the people watching on tv yeah that's yeah. about how many million people watch yeah. it yeah. yeah so it i mean it's it's i've got some incredible opportunities my mm. song songs have done really well Yeah. hearing them on the yeah. radio it's 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 very encouraging yeah. and it has a lot to do with my fans yeah i think you know the support that they have shown me yeah. taking introducing me to their friends their fans um you know that has grown i have a yeah. very loyal yeah. fan following and they are the wind beneath my wings i do so many wow yeah so many different things and i have the courage to do it leave my comfort zone try something new only because they say ki hum hai na we are there they'll fight the world for me and awesome. and i have never had you know anybody holding my finger in the movie industry mm-hmm. or in the music industry i've never had a godfather but the the kind of love that i've got from the audience who has made me yeah. who i am is the reason i can do all of these things and good news on the family front brothers getting mad time no he's not getting mad he's just sirf ruka hua hai okay jaldi se shaadi mat karao uski acha please he's my little brother oh. let him be little <laughs> Another cousin of yours joining movies? Yes, yeah, true. Meera. Meera Chopra. Meera has been um, in the movies. She's a, she's done a lot of yeah. South films, hmm. and now she's doing Hindi films. Right. Of course, there's Parniti. There's another cousin of mine, Babi. So I am trying to get all my as many opportunities as I can provide yeah. to my family, and um, I will always, you know, be their wind beneath their wings. But seriously, incredible. that they they were the khans they are the kapoor they are the bachans and always like you said i am going to create a chopra clan you know? <laughs> the other chopra the other chopra so yes jiwan chopra mai baad i'll be the other chopra <laughs> you miss your dad a lot right naturally yeah, yeah naturally yeah so and and such wonderful things happening is obviously his blessings he's whispering in god's ear i think so yeah. um you know somebody had told me this the current joy actually he said that to me um when my dad passed away he said to me that um his life changed because his dad started looking after him and i feel like my dad's doing that for me yes he's the angel that and he always did even when he was here my dad was not just my Good dad but right he was next to god yeah but he was also my best friend yeah you know my dad and me sat for hours at night talked about things rubbish things happy things We didn't need anybody else when we had each other. Awesome. So it's hard. Do you think any habit of the Britik which is annoying It becomes too positive sometimes? <laughs> too positive. Yeah. It becomes very like everything is fine. Are it's not fine. <laughs>
I don't want to be rich. I don't want to be famous. I don't even want to be happy. I just want to be great. Wow. That's my desire. How do you deal with uh, stress? I go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I put my blanket yeah. on top, I wear my eye mask, I put ear, ear plugs and I go to sleep. Fantastic. You worked with practically all the big guys here. Your favourite? Uh... I haven't worked with Seth, I haven't worked with Amir, I haven't worked with Ajay, I haven't worked with Imran, I haven't worked with... Better to mention those. <laughs> the ones I haven't worked with. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, safer. I'm not picking the ones. Yeah. <laughs> my favourite. Do you have a 5am friend? Of course I do. Yeah. I have a few. Who's I'm that? very fortunate that I have a few. Who is that now? I can't be telling that on <laughs> national TV. Your favorite superhero? Is Batman. Because he's dark and you know he comes out at night. I'm a Ratki Rani. He's got great... I hate and he has great toys. Yeah. All his toys are fab. fab. Like that I like Iron Man also, but I don't like his suit. You don't like his suit. I like the mask. I like the better. sense of humor. <laughs> yeah. Do you think any habit of Britik which is annoying? It becomes too positive sometimes. <laughs> Too positive, yeah. He becomes very like, everything is fine. Are, it's not fine. Yeah, I told him, I, I take said, would you like stress. to be the invisible man? He said, no, I don't want to be the invisible man because that's one superpower that can be misused. Correct. <laughs> and I'm telling him, listen, it's okay to be bad. <laughs> yeah. I'm bad, it's fine. <laughs> I call him Saint Ritik. He is Saint I call him Sant Ritik. He is Saint Ritik. You think about it in your But in a way, that is always, he's, he's a, a dear friend of mine. So he's always guided mm. me mm. in I've had tough times happen in my life and he's always, his positivity has always yeah. sort of helped me along those yeah. ways. So it's a good thing also, but it irritates me because I can't be like that. One superstar you admire? Mr. Bachchan. What? I feel that um, the amount that he has gone through in his life, the ups, the downs, but yet to be the icon that he is, even at his age, to work the hours that he does, to live the way he does, to balance his life the way he has, I I think he is truly a superstar. And one superpower you wish you had? To read people's minds, to know what they're actually really thinking and then to change it. Wow, that's the first time I've heard this and that's awesome. See, I'm evil. You're, you're, <laughs> no, no, you're not evil. <laughs> I want to be. Yeah, yeah. You, you're a Cancerian, so there's always a dark side of the moon. Yes, yeah. I definitely have a big one. Yeah, you have a dark side. Definitely. Yeah, but it's never going to be explored. It'll never, it'll never be seen. Yeah. It'll, it'll never, never seen. be seen. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Kabini Amavas, you are always welcome. Thank you. Always welcome. And we wish you all the best for Krish 3. Thank you. But before we wrap, one quick question I'm going to ask you once more, which I asked you earlier. What do you have for breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> My breakfast is always on the go, huh, by the way. Yeah. It's in the car. Mm. Whatever it is, yeah. it's always on the go. My mother always tells me at least yeah. do one meal sitting down. Mm -hmm. Just sit for five minutes, read the paper, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> but keep eating what you're eating, keep doing what you're doing because you're doing great, you're looking great. Thank you. Congratulations and Thanks all the so best. Yeah. Congratulations. Thanks. Thank you.